thieves go to great lengths to try and cash in on what's inside ATMs, crashing into convenience stores, trying to haul the machines away with cars. Near Washington, someone even tried to use an excavator with no luck. But some criminals have found a high-tech way to guarantee a payoff. It's called jackpotting. Hackers hijack an ATM, causing it to spit out money like a slot machine at rates of up to 40 bills every 23 seconds, withdrawing thousands of dollars at a time. The types of ATMs that are being hit are typically these one-off ATMs you might find in a small convenience store. They can take out all the cash. This video from a cybersecurity firm shows how it's done. Thieves pose as repairmen. They implant the machine's computer with sophisticated electronics or new software code, and then use a cell phone to dole out the dollars whenever they want. They can inject code to allow them to access it remotely. Once they do that, they can set the commands, dispensing thousands of dollars until their co-conspirators can come in, scoop up the cash, and cart it away. In just the past few weeks, thieves made off with more than $1 million from bank machines across the U.S. The RCMP says so far there are no reports of jackpotting in Canada, but it's likely only a matter of time, with crimes now reported in Europe and Latin America too. While the money is not stolen directly from individual accounts, it can still end up costing consumers. We all have to pay for the bank to recoup these types of losses. So in a way, we're all sharing in the loss. Two of the world's largest ATM makers have warned that cyber criminals have the tools and the know-how to carry out widespread jackpotting attacks, with older machines most likely to be targeted. But right now, there's no easy fix for this high-tech crime of opportunity that's scooping up mountains of cash. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.